Welcome to the world of esoteric acupuncture. My name is Mikio. I am the developer of esoteric acupuncture. We are going to present a series of lecture tapes uh, moving from the genesis of esoteric acupuncture through its connection with other philosophies such as the Tibetan, the Hindu, the lay yoga system with the chakras, uh, connecting the Kabbalistic tree of life with sacred geometry, platonic solids, numerology, and how this fits in with a practical application of acupuncture patterns through the chakras and the new encoding patterns. I'm asked the question, how did esoteric acupuncture develop and you know, how did it come about? Well, for one thing, there was a time lock, inherent time lock built into esoteric acupuncture and had to do with the level of consciousness. Uh, we were just being exposed to a whole new philosophy from China, new to the West. Uh, those of you who've gone to acupuncture school, you, we learn things like blood deficiency, blood stagnation, yin deficiency, yang deficiency, etc. And these are all very, very new concepts to the Western thinking, especially the people that went to school here. So by uh, 95 and later, that's when esoteric acupuncture actually started uh, the genesis. And I was also intrigued by this idea of the raw foods healing versus the, and the Chinese philosophy, don't eat raw foods, it's too damp, it creates too, it's too cold it creates uh, some kind of imbalance in what's called the middle jaw, middle burner, the digestive system. So I started formulating, I actually started writing the book. Uh, on, uh, it was me and nutrition book incorporating iridology, raw foods, uh, nat naturopathy, and Chinese medicine. Somewhere along uh, 1995, somewhere around the middle of 1995, during a meditation, and I hadn't been thinking about anything. It was just in a quiet meditation, afternoon meditation, um, I was just meditating, I got into a really deep spot. And all of a sudden this thought form pops in, there are enough people working on the physical body. Are you interested in working on fields above what's normally addressed? And of course, you know, it's like everything's going through really, very, very, very quickly. And they said, we would like you to introduce to the world a concept called esoteric acupuncture. At that moment, when I heard esoteric acupuncture, it was such a heavy thought form that I popped out of my meditation and I could not get back into it. I kept thinking, esoteric acupuncture, I said, what is that? And the first thing that popped into was chakras. So, you know, I was sitting there for another half hour trying to get back in that spot. I couldn't get back into the meditation. So I just started thinking about, it. okay, chakras, yeah. Why not chakras in Chinese medicine? Um, Everything is connected, and it's not been really been addressed um, globally yet at that point. So I started thinking about things. I said, you know, me being a little left brain and trying to open up the right brain, I went and started charting out what am I going to put together, how is this going to fit into this and this and this. And during that time, I went into this nice dream state again, and uh, it lasted for about an hour. And during that time, concept came through said, we are the overlighting devas of esoteric acupuncture and we are here to help. We are going to help you with understand that nature aspect and the astral plane. And again, when that overlighting devas of esoteric acupuncture, it, was, it kind of shocked me out of that again. So I was just lying there on this couch. And it was about a couple hour period from the time I was meditating. I was meditating, I was just in the couch and I started uh, formulating all these thought forms came through. And he said, Overlapping Davis of Esoteric Acupuncture, what is that? So going into 1996, um, I, was, I was working a lot in Mount Shasta. I was working with Dr. Joshua David Stone, working the Wiesak Celebration. And we were working with uh, Dwal Cool's Energy. He was the person who wrote most of the Alice Bailey works. And um, so I was meeting a lot of people, leadership, and people had written books, lectures from around the world, Australia, um, uh, Europe, you know, different places, Canada, they were all gathering in Mount Shasta. So I was getting exposed to a lot of things. Now this, this is the genesis of esoteric acupuncture. I'm still formulating, you know, what's going on? I'm, this is all kind of new to me. I tapped into something. 
And so during one of my meditations around uh, maybe late 96, 97, I asked during my meditation, why am I getting this information? And the first thing was, you are the most greedy. And I said, oh wow, I'm the greedy, that's kind of an interesting word. And they kind of laughed, they said, no, no, we mean you're the most hungry. This information is being downloaded to the planet, but you're the one that has the uh, antennas up and you are the most hungry for the information. And they said, you have uh, heavy uh, left brain, you can analyze the work, the geometry, the math, the concepts, but you're also opening up the right brain, the right side, to understand how that fits in with the new energies coming through, which is the mother energy coming through to this next century. So, uh, you know, 96, 97, 98, when I was writing the first book, Esoteric Acupuncture Volume 1, I was still not really sure. Now, during that time, I met a lot of channelers and mediums, and I'll tell you right now, I'm not a channeler. I do not get this information from the astral plane. Uh, I get po pockets of information. It's my own higher self tapping into what I consider the Kashic Records and downloading the information. But, you know, I was getting a lot of things like geometric forms, how does this fit into acupuncture? And the way it worked, uh, a majority of the time, I would get a name of a pattern, something like crown infinity pattern or pillar of light. And today it seems, you know, oh yeah, it's just a name. But back then it was like, wow, these names uh, coming through. And then usually that night or within the next couple days, I would get the points during meditation. And right after meditation, I have to go out and write the points. And at that time, I was not really sure if the information was correct, so I'd write the points down, and it would take me usually a couple other meditation, two or three or four, even longer, to see if that was the right points. And remember, there's gonna be some challenges, some changes. Whenever you have a, um, a change in your life, there's some sort of, of uh, disruption. Our thought forms create the reality. I really believe it's going to be a fantastic time. We're going to have some challenges. It's not going to be a smooth ride, but it's going to be a uh, great time for humanity, awakening, a spiritual awakening. And I'll talk about it a little later, but in the quantum mechanical world, you know, our thoughts create the reality. So if we anchor in the idea of this being a fantastic opportunity for us as humanity to hold the light and move into this next phase, we're going to have a, a fantastic next phase. Um, <clears throat> so esoteric acupuncture is always about moving into your center, uh, holding that spiritual light. And so that's how uh, esoteric acupuncture came about in, in a nutshell. These platonic solids are very important because they also represent certain kind of patterning, certain kind of uh, geometry of thinking and uh, also helping us to understand how to move into a higher dimension. Now the spin point is um, a terminology that I uh, borrowed from J.J. Hertak on his book Keys of Enoch which came out in 1974. And he talks, in one section he talks about acupuncture and spin points, but he doesn't really explain it. He just used the term and uh, so I'm using his term uh, spin point. But when you do esoteric acupuncture every treatment creates uh, spin point activity at the site of the kneeling and when you have the complete pattern on the body it creates a spin feel. The spin feel uh, creates a type of energy that's much greater than just a regular acupuncture pattern and it allows us to start moving into something greater.